Welcome to our new unit, Equations and Inequalities. We are going to start by discussing inequalities. We talked about them in class today, and we are going to go a little further into inequalities and finish them up tomorrow in class. Um, our goal is that we can write an inequality from a given scenario and that we can graph an inequality on a number line. You may remember inequalities um, as alligators in elementary school. Um, we're no longer going to call them that. Um, they actually have names. Words to know are inequality, equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, and what is the solution set. And we've talked about several of these words today in class and have done examples together. We are going to start by reviewing what we learned in class today about the inequality symbols and having them in our notes so we can review them throughout this unit. So this first one is the less than symbol. We read it left to right, so that's how we know it is the less than symbol. An example of the less than would be that I could say 6 is less than 12. Now remember, you can also use these with variables. So I could say x is less than 8. The next one is the greater than symbol. I can use the example that 16 is greater than 4. Or I can say that b is greater than 2. Let's move on to the next symbol. This symbol you see is like the less than symbol, but it has a little line underneath. The little line underneath means equal to. So this is the less than or equal to symbol. I could say that 10 is less than or equal to 10. I can also say that 10 is less than or equal to 11. The next symbol you can see is similar to the greater than sign, but it also has the little equal to sign underneath it. So it is the greater than or equal to symbol. I can say in this problem that 20 is greater than or equal to 20. I can also say that x is greater than or equal to 9. This last symbol is the does not equal to. It is an equal sign with a slash through it. An example of this would be 5 is not equal to 2. I could also say that y is not equal to 8. Today we discussed writing an inequality from a scenario. Pause the video, try A, B, and C on your own, and then unpause it to see how you did. Welcome back. I hope you paused the video and are ready to check your work. A says you must be older than 13 to play basketball. So a person, so I'm going to use the variable X to represent the person's age must be older than, so that's a greater than symbol, 13. The next one says B, uh, to use one stamp, your domestic letter must be under three and a half ounces. So it can't be three and a half ounces, so it can't be equal to. It must be under. So I'm gonna use the letter A and say it has to be less than, than three and a half ounces. And the last one is you must be over 48 inches tall to ride the roller coaster. So I'm gonna use the variable Y for you must be over, so it's greater than 48 inches. Today in class, we talked about solution sets when we were discussing the roller coaster activity. So let's look at what it looks like in an inequality problem. For example, this first one, we have x is greater than 3. So we want to think of every number that I could plug in for x. So I could say 4, 5, 6, but could I say 3? No, because 3 is not greater than. So I would start at 4, and it could be any number 4 or greater. 
And we could also just say this is 4 to infinity, which is a number without an end. So let's talk about this next one. X is greater than or equal to 3. This time it has the equal to, so I could say 3 could be X because 3 is equal to 3 or greater. Okay, pause the video and you try the next two. Welcome back. So for the first one, x is less than 5, you could say the numbers have to be 4 or less because they cannot be 5 because 5 is not less than 5. For x is less than or equal to 8, I could say 8 or less. So it could be 8 or any number less than. So when we are graphing solution sets, we are showing all the possible answers for the inequality. But first we need to talk about when to use an open circle and a closed circle. So an open circle represents that it's not equal to, and a closed circle represents the number can be equal to the number shown. So in this problem, I'm looking and it has the equal to symbol. So I am going to plot a point of the number given to me in the inequality and I'm going to say that it's a closed circle. So I'm going to color it in and then I have to read it. X is less than. So I'm going to pick all the numbers that are less than. Now let's look at the next one. X is greater than negative 1 but it does not say that it's equal to. So it's going to be an open circle. So go to negative 1 open circle and then it's greater than symbol so I know I have to pick all the numbers that are greater than. Let's try a few more problems together. If we are looking at this problem we see that it says x is equal to 8. So I want to know what all possible numbers can I put in there. 8 is only equal to 8 so I'm going to put a closed circle on 8 and there's going to be no lines because it can't go to any other number than 8. This next one I'm looking at, it says 6 is greater than x. So I know I need to plot my point on 6, but it's not equal to, so I have to put an open circle. But remember, it says 6 is greater than x. So I know if 6 is greater than x, it has to be all the numbers that are less than x. And this last one does have the equal to, so this says negative 4 is less than or equal to x. So I'm going to put my point on negative 4 and color it in because it's equal to, so it's a closed circle, and it says negative 4 is less than x. So if it's less than x, that means x has to be all the numbers that are greater. So I'm going to go to the greater side. Try these next five problems on your own. We will discuss them first thing in class tomorrow. Your to-do list before class is to complete your notes, write down any questions, be prepared to discuss your answers, and also complete your corrections for the last unit test.